What's up, y'all? What's up, Living Gang? I hope everybody is having an amazing Wednesday hump day. What it is, Vlogmas Day 6. Y'all, so today I am, okay, the girl's trying to make a little pickleball. Mm -mm. Y'all ain't getting a show, not today. Not ever. But anywho, y'all, I got on the vlog today because Vlogmas day six i am going to be cooking a meal for chris and i um he is going to make some christmas drinks for us so i wanted to prepare dinner for the both of us uh like a little nice little alfredo chicken alfredo dinner so um he hasn't gotten off yet but he is on his way well he is off he's on his way home let me rephrase that so i've already stopped by the store i grabbed my ingredients that i am going to cook my meal with so y'all let me sit y'all over here so we can kind of go over the things that we're going to be using tonight so first things first y'all and i haven't put took anything out of the um bags yet because i had just came in the house took me a shower and i was like let me do this because time is ticking so i got the linguine noodles and i picked up some of this um crema um to go in my sauce just a little bit y'all will find out later on i'll put y'all on um i got a fresh clove of um garlic and then I got some lime. This is for um, our drink. And then the garlic is gonna go into the food, of course. And then I got some heavy whipping cream for my sauce, of course. And then I got some Italian shredded blended cheese. And then I got some mozzarella cheese. That's for the sauce too. And then I picked up this butter and Parmesan um, and basil butter that i'll be using to you know cook the chicken in do a little same thing with that chicken you know how i do it and then y'all i can't forget about my um gar um garlic and herb butter i don't know if y'all use this butter but this is some good butter if you don't know baby you need to know so i'll be cooking my chicken in this butter too and making my sauce with the butter as well and y'all kroger had the thighs on sale so if y'all don't know if you are not a i don't really like chicken breast with my food because it's kind of tough so i like to use thighs versus chicken breast y'all it's so tender in the oh my god follow my lead follow my lead so i'm gonna clean this so we're gonna sit this over here by the sink and then what else did I get that's gonna consider the meal? I think that's about it. I didn't get um, everything else I got that's gonna go in the freezer. But I did see these kolaches that I wanna try. The Kroger brand, I'm gonna try these. I didn't wanna get the expensive ones and I don't like them. So I'm gonna try these kolaches. I'll probably take one to work tomorrow just to have a snack. And then I'm gonna put this in the freezer now. And then they had these little um, cookies, sugar cookies on sale. So I got three of these. So when the kids come home, we can pop these in the oven. So let me go ahead and put this in the freezer right now. Right now. And then y'all, I have some broccoli that I can throw over in um, our Alfredo as well. I don't have to have a whole lot. I might do some sausages in our Alfredo as well too, so I'll take those out. I use the kielbasa sausages and they had these on sale in Publix. So I'm about to put some water on these. So I might cut these up and mix that on in there too. Have some chicken sausage Alfredo. You know, mix it up a little bit. Don't be bland. Don't be just so plain on Jane, honey. Mix that thing up a little bit. And of course, you know, I always think about my babies when I go in the store, so. But yeah, y'all, we are about to get started. I'll redo my pantry later. Right now, I gotta get food done. So that's gonna have to sit in there until I get done. But y'all, without further ado, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I, like I told y'all, I have been using my new pans, my new pot set that we got for um, the wedding. So I am going to rinse those out, clean those real good, get my water boiling for my noodles, and then get my chicken going. And then when Chris get here and he starts to make the drinks, then I'll pop back on. But I'll let y'all see how I am doing somewhat of cooking the food and how I prepare my Alfredo, what all I do now. I'm not an expert. This is just how I prepare my Alfredo. You might do a whole nother Alfredo, sis. Don't judge me over here. Mm -mm. Okay? And in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna be catching some of these vlogs that done drop because you know the girls are dropping every day. Okay? And my battery about to go dead. So let me go replace her or him, or whichever one you is tonight, because you acting like a... Anywho, I'll be back, y'all.
Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. He finna run him over, ain't he? Whoa, we.
what's up living gang welcome back to the channel i am your girl mona living um this is not a new vlog this is a part of vlogmas but y'all um as i prepare my content i must must jump on here today um to um i'll talk to her in a minute um that's my best friend calling um that's the reason why i'm telling y'all today that today is my mom's death anniversary and um hold on y'all let me text her um today is my mom's death anniversary y'all it makes two years that she has passed away and i just wanted to say um um my mama know I like to film stuff. I like to record. And I want to dedicate my channel, my vision, my success, um, everything that I am set out to do with my life, my everything with my family, everything that I put myself, you know, out here to do, y'all. I'm going to dedicate this to my mama. Because she knew her daughter was a person that liked to film. Um, I like to talk. Um, my mama said when I was growing up, I like to be in the mirror, chewing gum, and just talking to myself. So, this right here, me doing this, like filming my life, recording my life, documenting my life, is something that I did growing up, just not knowing how to do it. And I feel like if she said I was sitting in the mirror, chewing gum, watching myself, chewing gum, talking to myself in the mirror, what am I doing now except for, of course, I'm putting on a platform for you guys to see it. But I'm basically talking to my camera to myself because there's nobody else in here. My daughter's in the living room and Chris is not here yet. So it's like, you know, my mama knew what I like to do. And... She used to always tell me to do what you like to do. Don't do what people force you to do. Um, and for me, that stands out today as I realized that um, growing up with my mom, my mom was like a ball of fun. Like everybody that texts me, like my friends and stuff, been texting me and stuff and checking on me. Um, today, it's kind of hard, um, and I don't want to get emotional, but if I start crying, y'all just know. But today is kind of hard because um, when we were out, when I got that phone call, my mama passed. It was just like a, a phone call you never want to get. Um, I knew she was in the hospital because I had been in the house. Um, I had been in with my mama from when my mama went in the hospital. To the day she got out you know to the day she passed um and of course before then i had been hands-on my mama like through her process of being sick not feeling good even when she was well of course i was a, a part of my mama's life and she was definitely a part of mine um so i knew when she got sick i was never gonna turn my back on my mama so with this process that i'm going through today y'all I stand strong and say that my mama made me the woman who I am. Um, if y'all ever met my mama and you ever came across who this lady was, you would love her. So, she'll cuss you out. She'll get with you now. She ain't play no games. But my mama was so free spirited. Like, she was a person that people clean to her. Like, when you meet her, it was just like a brush of fresh air. She would just... She was the life of the party. She was like, her smile was so beautiful. Like she was a beautiful woman. And um, like inside and out. Yeah, of course we all have our ways, but my mama, I can truly say, my mama was a beautiful woman inside and out and God knows her heart. She loves her children. She loves her grandkids, baby. When I say down, that lady loved her grandkids, baby. You can tell her name wrong with them grandkids. I don't care. You can talk about me and my sister. She didn't care about that. But when it came down to her grandkids, you couldn't talk about her grandkids. I'm sorry. You just couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> You just couldn't do it, y'all. And I love my mama for loving on her grandkids like she do. Um, like she did. She loved her grandkids. My nephew Cam. 
um i pray for him so much y'all because my nephew was really um he was really around my mama more than um any of her grandkids like he had the longevity with her because he was the first grandson the grandchild and then came my daughter and then came malaysia which is um the baby girl she don't she really don't remember my mama but you know my daughter remembers her and my nephew cam does um and y'all when i say she loves her grandkids she loves her grandkids and and a lot of people tell me i look like my mama um i put up some pictures of her today and i don't know if you guys have went back on a few of my vlogs back when but um if y'all haven't I'll show y'all some pictures of my mama, y'all. My mama was a beautiful lady. Like, that lady, she was gorgeous. Like, I used to tell my mama all the time, I, you mama, you pretty. Like, you just a pretty lady. Don't put, don't ever put on her red lipstick. Girl, you can tell my mama nothing, baby. You can tell her nothing. She put that red lipstick on, boo. You, oh, you might as well go on head on and just go on head and leave her alone. Because she ain't something, she, don't, she ain't trying to hear nothing. You talking about. Had her little red lipstick on and her red door. Um, she used to love a perfume called Red Door. I could smell it on her now, y'all. Like, my mama used to love that perfume. Like, that Red Door perfume. She loved it. She loved that. And I'm trying to find y'all a picture of her. But she was such a beautiful woman. And I just want to dedicate y'all if y'all see me going hard in the paint baby trust and believe me it's for my mama because my mama was truly a trooper she was always you know like in my corner there for us um she was a mother like she wasn't no bad parent my mama loved us unconditional she was just there and i can truly say that i love my mama like she was a ball of fun um this was one of the pictures that me and her share at my friend's wedding like I, when i say she would tell y'all she would tell like she used to just come like she supported me and my friends no matter what we did she supported us and this picture y'all <laughs> i got from my aunt and my mama looked so pretty on this picture i love this picture of her this when i seen this picture i was like oh this gotta go on obituary like this this i wish i would have seen this when she was alive and of course I would have showed her. Um, but she was, oh God, and I love this picture right here. This is her and her sisters. But y'all, look at my mama right there, honey. She was a, a diva, honey. Let me see, let me see. Look y'all, with that, 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 uh, it went red, baby. She used to rock that black lipstick, honey. Look y'all, that her right there, y'all, that her. And then that's her other sisters. But that's my mama right there, y'all. The one with the had to be well, not some. Well, let me see. They all had on dark lipstick except for my other aunt in the middle. But yeah, my mama, honey, diva with a tool, baby. I miss her so much, y'all. But I am so glad that I got a chance to spend so much time with my mama. Like we used to always take pictures. I'd be like, Mama, come on, take a picture. That's me and her right there. I used to always say, I used to take pictures with her because memories like this, memories like this right here, you can't get memories back. You know, you can take pictures and look at them and have all that, but y'all take as many pictures with your parents. Look at us. <laughs> And I know my Aunt Sherry is watching this, but my Aunt Sherry, we was at a, um, we was at my cousin Pete house. And um, my aunt took this picture of us. We had all put our head in. Look at my nephew Cam right by his grandma, my mama, my sister, my baby girl, and then me. And then my aunt Sherry right there. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, it's just like, my mama was a ball of fun. She loves her grandkids. This I can show y'all pictures of my mama all day long because I just love looking at her. I just love looking at her. Even when she was sick, y'all, and she didn't really look, you know, like herself, I knew that was my mama. Like, she was still beautiful to me. And I told her that, too, because she was to be like, I look so ugly. My hair messed up. My hair. I said, Mama, 
you will always be a beautiful woman. I don't care how your hair look. Your hair don't define who you are inside or outside. To me, you beautiful inside and you're beautiful outside. And I miss her so much, y'all. I just sit and I think about all the times we used to have. I was telling my daughter when we were growing up, my mama used to let, we used to have so much fun. Like my mama made my childhood so fun. Like she was the fun parent. My daddy was strict. My daddy was the boring strict parent. But my mama, she was the outgoing let's go and have let's cook hot wings and listen to music and of course she you know had her time when she would be strict and be on our butt but she was more fun and i can remember those times like having fun with her and being wanting to be around her that's what i tell my daughter like i know you get that clinginess from me because i was like that with my mama like i used to just want to be around my mama especially when i was younger like I want to be up her butt like <laughs> when my mama goes somewhere i want to be right there with my mama but um i just wanted to jump on here y'all i didn't want to be sad today but i did want to just let y'all know that when you have a parent love on your parent make it right with your parent don't wait till it's too late um to make it right you know do it now because you can't get that back you when your mama gone your daddy gone that's it like it ain't no more mom and daddy when they gone when they drop that casket down in that grave that's it so i just wanted to say today is december the 11th and today my mama passed 2021 and um she suffered she got she's in perfect hands now with the father god upstairs i know he's got her in perfect hands Cause she really my mama really went through it before she left here and i watched it so that's why i know she's in better hands than she were when she was here and um it's traumatizing to me sometimes when i look back on the time that we you know like i had to you know had let the nurses flip her over to kind of wipe her and stuff and she used to be mama don't let them do it don't let them and i was like mama they got to they got to clean because my mom was a clean person if you knew my mama, you knew that lady didn't miss a bath. <laughs> and she would get on you if you didn't bathe. So I knew that when she got sick and she wasn't all the way there. And she used to say, no, mama, no, don't let them bathe. No, because I know you. You like a bath and you love to smell good. One thing you couldn't say about my mama, that she stank, baby. You couldn't smell, baby, you ain't going to smell that one. So I know she was a clean lady that's one thing about her she loved to clean up she had a, she kept a clean house she kept a clean appearance about herself um my mama was very well how can i say it well worth the time i spent with her she was a mother to me and i can truly sit here and tell y'all today that baby <laughs> I never, never downplay my mama as my mama. I would never tell y'all that um, my mama was a bad mother. She, yeah, we had our ups and downs. You know how you, you know how you have your times with your parents, so where you want to be grown and they grown already, and you want, you don't want them to tell you what to do. But that's what everybody and y'all. I just say this: if you are at it with your parents, make it right. Um, even if it takes time time you don't want to wait too long because time you can't get back y'all um don't wait till they down and out and then you want to you know make peace make peace now when they are here and y'all can talk it out and y'all can get that you know that um that bun back it because it ain't too late to ever get a bun back with your family member especially your mom and your daddy it ain't it it, it, it may cost you your feelings but that time, baby, mm -mm, you ain't gonna get that back. So I encourage everybody, y'all, to make it right. Be with your parents. Love on your folks, cause I miss mine every day. My daddy too. My daddy, I miss him so much. Um, my daddy was a, a clown too. I think that's why I kind of get it from my mom and my daddy, cause both of them was very well off funny. <laughs> like my mom and my daddy was kind of like, they was hilarious. Um, 
Mm-hmm. So if y'all see the foolishness come out of me, just know. Mm-hmm. I had a good good round with my daddy. Um, I took care of him when he was alive, when he was going through his last days. I took care of him. And um, same with my mama. I was not going to turn my back on my parents at all, y'all. I don't care what happened. I was not going to turn my back on my parents because had it not been for my parents, I wouldn't have had a roof over my head. I wouldn't have had clothes on my back. I wouldn't have had shoes on my feet. And I wouldn't have had food in my belly. So, had it not been for my parents, they didn't put us off on nobody. Nobody else raised us. My mom and my daddy raised us in the same household. And when we got older enough, that's when they, you know, we did our thing. But, baby, I can't sit here and tell you that my mom and my daddy put us off on nobody. They did not. So, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm all right. I'm going to dedicate my channel to my mama. Um, a lot of things that I do, um, my mama loved. She knew I loved to travel. She knew I loved to have a good time. Um, and she knew I was a family person. Like, my mama knew I was about family. So, she knew that, you know, my mama knew I didn't want no more kids. So, I had already told her, mama, you ain't got to worry about your daughter having another one. Baby, that's a wrap. <laughs> she knew that before she left here because she used to always ask me, Mom, you going to have another baby? Mm -mm. I know you ain't because that one you had it took you a lot to have her so I know you ain't. My mama was okay with that and I'm okay with it so I'm glad she got to meet her granddaughter spent a lot of time with my daughter um, even my um, bonus babies she spent some time with them so I'm, I'm content y'all of course I'm gonna always miss my mama I'm gonna always cherish the memories we got I'm gonna always look at the pictures that we shared the the trips we went on like just all overall i'ma always remember her and so i don't want today for me to be a sad day i just want today to be a honorable day that my mama gained her wings and she's no longer suffering and i just want to share that with y'all let y'all know that i'm gonna be okay and um we're gonna keep going and um Shout out to my aunt Sherry for always, um, you know, she texted me a while back and was like, what a vlog, are you okay? My aunt, that made me feel so good because, you know, not a lot of family members, they tell you they'll check on you, but not a lot of people do that. And um, I appreciate my aunt for tuning in. Um, shout out to you, Auntie Sherry. Auntie Shoe Pie is what I call her, y'all. Don't ask me about my auntie night. Don't, don't do it. But shout out to her for watching the vlogs, tuning in, looking at her niece. I'm, I'm sure I look like my mama to her. And uh, being there for us. And always, when we used to, when we were growing up, that was one of the favorite aunt houses I like to go to. Because my auntie was spoiled. Like, she cooked breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want. My auntie did it. So, shout out to her and my uncle Lamar. And um, I'm about to go in here. I had I was cooking some chicken. I'm about to make some um chicken noodle soup. So I was cooking that, but then my friend called, so I said, let me jump on the vlog for a second and talk about my mama today. And um I was gonna call her back later on, but I'll talk to y'all later. I'll be putting up a video soon. Uh but yeah. But y'all, one more thing before I go. One more thing before I go. And y'all know what I'm about to say. Baby, what the hell doing though? What the inches doing though? Just get into it. Whew. We gonna take a moment. Now, my ends might need to be cut a little bit. But baby, this all your girl right here. Baby, this all me. This is for me here, baby. Your girl hair growing. Like, I mean, when I say growing, it is growing, y'all. My hair is almost damn near to my back. Like, in my back. Right, right, you know. Look at it. Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's what we talking about. That's what, that's what we on. We talking about inches. Like, 
the inches, okay? And then the little color, like, it still popped out. It don't want to go nowhere, but, you know. Yeah, they cancel, y'all. Cancel. 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 Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Cancel, y'all. Cancel, baby. Get into it. Get into it. Cancel, baby. I washed her, flat ironed her, and yeah. Cancel. Cancel. Mm -hmm. Cancel did that. Cancel did that. But y'all, like I was telling y'all, I have started using i told y'all i've been on my cancel products um i really 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 like cancel and i'm gonna show y'all what i wash my hair with i'm gonna show y'all what i use to wash my hair with all the products now i don't show y'all before but i haven't showed y'all these two um shampoo and um so I started, I, I started, I just um, bought these like a few weeks ago. I did my last wash with this um, set right here. So this is the Cantu um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using y'all. And when I say baby, grew my hair. My hair has been growing and flourishing and healthy. Baby, ain't no tracks up in here, but they me. They, they all me right here. And then, um, I think I've shown y'all this before too. So, what I do is, for, let me tell y'all what I do for my, when I do my conditioner. So, when I use the conditioner, with the, when I get to washing my hair, I do like three good washes. Um, and then, I let, I condition my hair all the way through. I parted in like six sections and I conditioned it real good, comb it out. And this is the comb that I use, y'all. I don't use a small comb. I use this comb right here to get all the way through my hair. Um, I purchased this at the Beauty Supply. I've had this comb for a while. And um, I comb it all the way through and I do it like in twists. And I put like a shower cap to hold the moisture in. And then I leave that on my hair for like... I don't want to tell y'all. About a good hour or so. Like, I forget sometimes that I have the condition in my head, for real, honestly. But, the longer you keep it in, the longer it moisturizes for me and my hair. Like, this works for my hair. I don't know about nobody else. I'm not a hair guru or whatever y'all call it. I don't do hair, but this is what works for my hair. And as y'all can see, like, I need my ends cut, but baby... The hair is giving, like it's flourishing from where I started from. If y'all can go back, I have a video um, from when I started back using Cantu products to how my hair was then to how it is now. My hair has tremendously grown, like literally, I can tell the growth. Um, and then after I rinse that particular conditioner off, I use this conditioner right here. Um, this is like the leave-in conditioner that I leave in my hair and then to detangle my hair I use this conditioner mist and I use this this is leave-in so both of these are leave-in and they hydrating so They don't you know this one is definitely for intense more um, softest damage or dry or coarse hair and then this one is hydrating so this girl when I say when if your hair tangled when you know how when you get through washing your hair and they kind of want to be tangled, baby, spray some of this on there. And I got two of these. I keep this in the closet, baby. And my baby don't use majority of this one. But, baby, I keep this on deck. Like, I got to buy some more because I'm almost low. I keep these on deck, baby. I don't play with this. Because I use that for my baby hair, too. And, um, this is another thing. After I get through blow drying my hair, y'all, this bottle so beat up. But it's the um, tea tree um, jaboba hair um, scalp oil. I put a little bit in my hand and I just rub it through my hair all over. And then it's like kind of a thick, greasy fit. So I don't want my hair to be well, wear down. So, so I don't wear, I don't put a whole lot in my hair. But y'all, all that is canceled products. That's canceled. 
And baby, when I tell you the hair beat, y'all seen the length? Let me let y'all see one more time. Y'all see it? And it's all me. Baby, there ain't no tracks in here. They all me right here. So, if y'all looking for a good hair product, y'all trying to start y'all hair journey, doing this good old new year, y'all know how we always come out. Oh, I got a this shit. I'm finna start wearing my hair natural. I'm finna keep the wigs off. I'm finna keep the weave out. <laughs> Your girl been started. <laughs> I been started. Y'all late to the party. Because I'm telling you, it ain't nothing like your own natural hair when you can wear it in styles that you buy and weave and weave the well. Like, this is a half up hairstyle that I wore today to work. And everybody's like, girl, your hair, that's your hair. Your hair's so long. Your hair's so pretty. Thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. What products you use, Cancel? And proudly said, Cancel sponsor me. Cancel sponsor me because I am going to put, I'm going to tag you down below. Sponsor me. Thank you. Sponsor your girl. Sponsor your girl. Sponsor your girl now. Sponsor your girl, Cancel. Because, baby, you have had this hair, baby. This hair has came for a ways. If you, let me tell you something. Back in 2020, was it 2018? I think I cut my hair, I did a big chop. And I, my hair has always been long and thick and pretty, y'all. I can't sit here and say I have had bad, I have had bad hair, like bad breakage my hair. Now, I'm going to tell you a sign. I'm going to tell you a sign now. I did, I think before I got pregnant, and I started taking some prenatal vitamins. My hair started breaking out over here in this little area right here, y'all. Like, it had started breaking out real bad. And my mama told me, she said, get you some um, hair marinades. And I did not know what that was. I was like, what is that? She showed me what it was. And I started putting it in my hair, and it grew my hair so long, y'all. I cannot find this stuff to save my life. But if I ever run across it again, I am going to start putting it in my hair and my daughter's hair. Because that stuff right there, I will never forget. I remember what it looked like. I just cannot find it in the beauty supply stores. Yeah, I'm right. So, once I find it, I am going to start that using that in my hair routine when I blow. Because that's something you can leave in your hair, too. Like, it's like a leave-in conditioner. So, that's how I knew it grew my hair. Because every wash that I would do, I would put it in there. And I would just blow dry my hair. And another thing, y'all, we have to stop doing. Stop always putting heat in our head. You ain't got to blow. You ain't got to... Flat iron your hair every day. If you know that you're using a heat or blow dryer, and I think I've shown y'all my blow dryer before. Um, I purchased this Revlon blow dryer from um, Burleson. I got this from Burleson, and I've had this for like a year. No, I've had this about two years now. Y'all, when I say this Revlon blow dryer, baby, works wonders. It's like a whole brush and a blow dryer, baby. When I say it, it don't take a long process. I part my hair in four parts and I just blow dry through, go through, go through, go through. Within another 30 to 45 minutes, y'all, my hair is blow dry. And I won't even give it up. I'll say a good 45 minutes, I'll be done. Because, again, my hair is thick. So, I have to make sure it's blow dried all the way through. But, y'all, cancel. Cancel. Get into it, y'all. I'm telling y'all, can't suit products. I don't know that. I know about a few more products. Like I've used um, Kaleidoscope hair products before. That has done my hair some good too. I like her products. I do like um, Kaleidoscope. But Cantu has been my go-to products anytime, and, and it's not expensive. Like that's one thing I do like about Cantu products. They are very cheap like i can go in the store and get some cancel baby and come up out of there with shampoo the conditioner leave in the leave in spray under 30 dollars like seriously under 30 dollars being honest and that's been my go-to because you know sometimes these hair products can get real expensive and with a budget like mine Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with the cancel and it grows my hair and it don't break my hair and my hair have that good shine to it. It ain't still. It feels good. It's growing. It's flourishing. And it keeps it's like a good volume to it. Like, I just like it. But, 
I just wanted to show y'all that. Um, and yeah, y'all, purchase y'all cancel products. I'm about to wrap my hair up, take me a shower. I just finished cooking the food. Morella just got through eating and begging for a snack. So, <laughs> I'm about to wrap it up. Um, I have not did any Vlogmas stuff, per se. Um, but I am going to jump back into the scene. But this is, this will be a part of my Vlogmas blog. Um, so, yeah, this is going to probably be a little longer than normal. But we're going to be on the vlog. Um, and I think I'm going to do two days of it. So, it might be a little long vlog because, again, this weekend, I don't think I'm going to be recording anything this week. Except for when we get ready to put the tree up. But my best friend is coming in town. We're doing like a girls night at my other best friend house. So we're supposed to, we're supposed to do that on Friday. And then Saturday we're doing a, I'm going to a ladies brunch on Saturday. So of course that'll be on a whole nother blog. So y'all won't see that. The girls night, the girls night might close out the vlog. Mm-hmm. We might close the vlog out that night, but then we might start a new one. Who knows? Y'all know I be all over the place. However, roll with it. We're going to roll. We're going to roll. We're going to roll. But I know for sure the brunch that I'm going to, that's going to be on a whole other vlog. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Um, and we're supposed to wear my favorite color, purple. Shout out to Tika for the purple, my girl. I love a good purple color, baby. So, yeah. Um... I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far and um i have nothing else to talk about because i'm about to get ready to take my shower and we'll catch up another day love y'all good morning Y'all, I am vlogging out the car this morning because I wanted to um, get ready to uh, when I say these look be crusty, baby. And I didn't put my car mats on this morning, but anywho, y'all. I'm at Dunkin' to grab me some coffee and um, I wanted a sausage biscuit, but every time I come to this Dunkin', they don't never have a biscuit. It's like, what y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be a breakfast place or a breakfast spot. Anywho, I digress. Um, I wanted to pick y'all up. Hold on, let me get in my mind. Anyway, y'all, I wanted to tell y'all that it is 31 degrees out here. It cold. It cold. So if y'all out here playing around out here in this weather, please stop. Put you a coat on, put you an undershirt on, and put your clothes on. It cold. It cold out here. It real cold. And I had a nerd to order a, 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 a iced coffee, y'all. I didn't order a hot coffee. I've been having hot coffee all week. But I am going to start back on my own. Good morning. Alright, 
But anywho, um, I was telling y'all to bundle up. Y'all don't come out this house acting like y'all cute and forget, baby, that this, 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 this is cold out here. It cold. It, it cold. Ain't them, ain't them warm out here. I don't care what's going on. Put some clothes on, bundle these children up. Make sure these children have their coats on. If you got a coat on, put your child a coat on, baby. The kids need a coat too. Don't let these children tell you they don't want to wear no coat. Put these coat, make these children wear a coat and undershirt. So, with that being said, y'all, I hope that y'all have a good day. Today is two. No, today is Wednesday. Oh, this is almost a week. We almost over week. But I want to tell y'all, like I was telling y'all the other day, I am going to start a new vlog in this. Um, in this particular vlog here, I did not do Christmas anything in this vlog here um, because I am going to be Friday going to my best friend's house. Um, we are doing like a little friends miss. It's going to be very small. It's just me and my friends, uh, three of my friends. Um, we didn't invite a whole lot of other people. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Y'all did that. Um, but we didn't invite a whole lot of other girls to our little friends. Miss, it's just a little something intimate because one of my friends, um, Kimmy, she comes from Dallas, Texas. So she's going to be here. And we're just, you know, just, you know how you just plan something just to kind of get the girls together. And um, because we really never spend a lot of time together, just the four of us. We decided to kind of get together on Friday night to kick it. And then Saturday, I am going to be going to my um, places, um, Toria. Shout out to her. She's having an event. This is her first annual event. Um, she's doing like a coat and blanket drive where she is collecting coats and blankets um, for people who are in need y'all so if y'all are in the Atlanta area it's going to be out in Clarkston um I know by the time y'all see this she, she's probably going to already been on handy but if you are if you have anything to donate to anybody that's having trouble getting their coats their jackets any kind of blankets anything y'all let's try to help out as much as we can um because everybody is not fortunate enough to be able to have things like coats blankets uh socks anything like that because it's cold y'all and that's what brought me to this conversation like let's just help out let's give what we can give nobody's telling you you gotta go buy anything i'm sure you got an old coat that is you know uh gently used you got one of them in there that you don't use no more give it to somebody that's in need um i i normally i'm gonna go in my closet and I'm also going my kids' closets. I know they have a few old coats in there that I can donate to them. So I am going to pack those up and take those out there Saturday to help her out. Um, and to also give back. Like, you know, you in order to get blessings, you have to give be a blessing. So y'all remember that. Um, now my blankets, I don't have um I do have some blankets in the storage, but they need to be washed. And I don't want to have to, you know, go to the storage and pull all that stuff out and wash it when I have to work this week. So, I don't want to take that into a hassle. But a coat is very much needed as well. So, I do have um, a few coats that the kids are have grown out of. But they're fairly new because they really don't wear them long. You know, during the once a break. I mean, the once a month. They wear, like, because they got two households. You know, they made, I bought a big coat for Morayla one year. Her daddy bought a big coat one year. So she wearing two coats, you know. So she still have, like now she has a coat that she wear that I bought. Her daddy bought her a coat. So she got two coats that she wear when it's, you know, when she want to rotate her coats out. So she still have coats that's fairly new. Same with the boys. They mama buy them a nice big coat for the one or they daddy buy them a nice big coat for the one. So they can wear whichever coat they decide they want to wear. But the coats that there's too small for them, they're still in the closet, so they're fairly new. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go and look through the closet and donate those. And then I was invited to a women's brunch on Saturday as 
well. But y'all, I don't know what the government was doing when they was playing with my um social security card. But I got that car, baby. Yeah, uh, with that Martin last night, Monique, stop playing with her. She is not one of them. So I finally received my social, my new social security card in the mail. So I was waiting on it to go start try to get my license changed, my last name changed on my license. I know I probably am going to have to still take my marriage license, so I am going to go ahead and do that. So, so Saturday, I got a busy, busy day. I'm gonna be up early, y'all. And I decided. I'm gonna go do my license Saturday morning and then um, stop by the event and then I'm gonna go to the women's branch. My coworker, she is having like a birthday um, birthday thing at like 10, 11 o'clock. Y'all know Auntie don't be out that late. I'll still see if Chris decide if he's not tired when he get out work, if he's gonna go or not. Um, I did say how I wanted to go and I do wanna go, but I don't like to go like late like that by myself if my baby is tired. I don't want to take him out if he's tired from work and stuff like that. So that's still kind of up in the air and then us, he don't be out that late. So we'll see. We'll see by then. But Sunday, I did tell Chris that I want to go ahead and see the Beyonce movie because I've been hearing so much good stuff about her movie. Um, So y'all, I want to go ahead and see that. So Sunday, me and Chris is supposed to go see the Beyonce movie, so that should be interesting. That should be nice. Um, yeah, so I'll keep y'all posted. Um, I just wanted to again thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, being true to the Mona Living family, the Mona Living gang. Y'all know how we rock over here, we straight real, we do everything real over here. We are some fools, so if you are a part of my gang, you know, the living gang, we live and we don't just to be existing around here. We we get out here and we try to live a little bit, y'all. We gotta we gotta get it going. Um, we are going into a new year. With that being said, stay on your A game. Whatever goals that you have, y'all, let's crush them things. A vision board party if you plan on having one if you're going to one make sure you have a meaning for a mid um, vision board um this year like next year i gotta look back at my vision board to see exactly what all i had on there this year just to kind of see i know i did say that i was gonna um do like a i gotta look on now but I know me and my husband, did, I did have my wedding stuff on there, wedding dress, a wedding and all that good stuff. So we did crush that. Um, God made sure that that happened. So I know that, you know, everything else is gonna fall in place. And um, yeah, y'all. So like I said, thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. If you are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button right next to my name. It is red, you cannot miss it like the video y'all so that means give me a thumbs up and also share my videos with who you need to share them with let's talk let's check down in the comment section y'all thank y'all so much for coming and leaving me a comment come come on ma'am and um talking to me in the comment section and yeah y'all we're going to end this vlog here uh, I gotta get in this building and get my day going I hope that you guys get y'all days going at work um, if you are not working and you are a straight entrepreneur, baby, get out there and crush what you need to crush for your quota. Make your money. Don't let nobody stop you. Let's get to the grind. It is the end of the year. <laughs> hey! And I will catch y'all in my next one.